Okay guys, so let's proceed with the next problem for the shearing stress. So again, basa bas sabay nating basahin yung problem number 2. To compute the shearing strength in the pin at B for the member supported as shown in the figure. The pin diameter is 20 mm. Okay, so dito ang uh, required is to solve for the shearing stress dun sa pin. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin natin dun sa pin? So, ito kasi meron siyang uh, pin dito. So, ito yung nagko-connect between dun sa ating uh, member ABC at saka dun sa hinge dun sa point B. So, ito na side view siya. Ano? And then, if sisilipin mo siya dito, dito sa part na to, o yung front view niya, or yung rear view, Ito ang makikita mo sa kanya. Ano? So, ang pin natin, guys, is ito. Itong habang to. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, saan nga papatak na category o type ng shearing stress itong ating sample problem na ito? So, di ba siya is papatak sa category na double shear? Because do sa pin natin, kung mapapansin nyo, itong dalawang point na to yung... Pakita natin, ah. Itong portion na to, this one portion ng pin, ito and ito will undergo the shearing stress. Okay? So, again, under siya ng category na double shear. So, ano ang required natin? So, what is the first thing that we need to do in order to solve for this problem? Okay, so we need to determine the reaction dun sa mga support natin. Okay, so let's just change the color of our pen. Okay, so ilagay natin yung mga reaction dito. As you can see here, do sa roller natin at point C, meron kang roller. So again, siya ay acting perpendicular dun sa surface. So isa lang siya. So I will name that as my RC. And then dito sa point B, meron kang hinge. Okay, so let's just assume the direction of this. Paano ba natin i -add? Kasi itong 40, di ba ito is naka-inclined at 35 degrees. Therefore, ito merong horizontal and vertical component. So, let's just say na yung horizontal niya is papunta dyan. The right. And yung kanyang Y component or vertical component is papunta sa taas. So, ito yung assume kong pataas. Okay. So, anyway, ito naman is nag assume lang tayo ng direction. So, ito gagawin kong pababa. So, that is Reaction B, so ito yung kanyang Y component. And yung horizontal, so since ito is papunta sa kanan yung kanyang horizontal component ng 40, so gagawin kong ito, yung reaction dito as pakaliwa para ma-balance yung system natin. So RBX. Okay, so yung RBX mo, through inspection alone, that is just the horizontal component of that 40 kN. So siya, so, diretso na natin. So, that is 40. Then, multiply by cosine 35. Okay? So, inuha lang natin yung X component, ha? Next, ang kailangan natin malaman is yung kanyang RC. So, paano natin masosolve yung RC? So, palitan ko lang yung color ng pen natin to black. So, dito ko na lang sulat. So, I will take summation ng moment dun sa point B. Ito sa support B natin, okay? Ayaw sumulat. Nag-roading. No! God, please, no! No! Okay. So, moment at B in order to solve for the reaction at C. So, that distance is 250 mm. Then, multiply by the force. And then, ano pa ba yung force na nag-act doon? So, ang gawin ko, since yung uh, dalawang component na yan will produce a uh, clockwise moment, so, equals ko na. And then, transpose ko sa abila to make it in positive. So, yung y component naman ng 40, that is, i-disregard na natin. No? Since siya ay magiging concurrent dun sa ating point B. So, wala siya magiging perpendicular distance. So, yung x component lang yung kailangan or yung 
yung 40 cosine 35. So, 40 cosine 35 multiplied by the distance of, so, pinakita naman doon, so, that is 200 mm. So, 200 mm. Okay? So, what will be the value of your reaction at C? Gawin lang natin So you have 40 uh, cosine 35 and then multiply by 200 and then divide by 250. So that is 26.2189. So 26.2189. So this is in kilo newton. Okay, so next, in order to solve for the RBY or the Y component ng ating reaction sa B, so by taking summation ng forces Y or summation versus vertical, so I will say that all downward forces as positive. So the equation will be RBY. So lahat pataas na is equals to RC na twenty six point two one eight nine. Plus, yung y component ni 40. So, that is plus 40 sine 35. So, what will be the value of your RBY? Again, pindutin lang natin sa alq. So, answer. Then, plus. Plus 40 ng sine of 35. So, that is 49.1559. So, 49.1559 kilo newton. Okay, so, since meron na tayong x component ng RB and yung y component ni RB, so, now we can solve for the total value of the reaction. So, paano na nga natin siya nakocompute? So, di ba parang Pythagorean lang? So, that is RBX squared plus RBY squared. So, idiretso na natin na. So, RB is equals to square root ng 40 cosine 35 squared plus 49.1559 squared. So, pindutin lang natin. So, ito, squared na natin yung answer kanina. Plus, ano nga yan? 40 cosine 35 and then squared ah, sorry and then squared so equals and then square root of the answer so the resultant at B do sa ating hinge is 59.0756 so 59.0756 kilo newton Okay, so knowing that, uh, we can now solve for the shearing stress dun sa ating pin at B. So, pangal, denote ko na lang siya as tau B is equals dun sa force at B, which is the reaction at point B over A. Okay, so 59.0756. So, again, the answer is in kilonewton. So, i-convert natin siya to Newton. So, multiply mo lang ng 1,000 to make it in. So, to make that one in... Ay, tama pala. So, to make the answer in... Newton. And then yung area, so again guys, ito is under the category of double shear. So pag double shear, yung area ay multiply mo lang ng 2. So ano ang area niya? So area lang naman circle, ano yung area ng ating pin? So pi over 4, knowing that the diameter of the pin is 20, so 20 mm squared. So ang ating answer will be in newton per mm squared or mega pascal. So what will be the answer for the shearing stress? So, sulat na natin ting unit. Okay, so again, pindutin lang natin sa alq. So, 
556. So, answer. So, times 1,000. And then, times 4. Tinaas ko lang yung 4 do sa baba. Divided by, so, in close ko sa parenthesis, 2 times pi. Times 20 squared. So, equals... So the, so the shearing stress developed dun sa ating pin is 94.0217. So 94.0217. Okay guys, so this is our answer. And let's now discuss the next type of simple stress which is the bearing stress.